Verizon is close to adding dual SIMNE SIM support after an initial delay, which means that its network could not work with the XSI phone, XS Max and XR's dual promoted capabilities. Verizon tells employees that it hopes to launch dual SIM support with an eSIM and a physical SIM paired in early December. Apple initially announced that Verizon, T-Mobile and AT&T would be compatible with dual SIM cards. But Verizon customers encountered an obstacle, you can only use Verizon's physical SIM card for your primary line, and if you change it to your secondary line. The service is downloaded to a legacy 2G network instead of LTE. When the operator realized that the secondary line will not be able to support high-speed voice and data services, it also refrained from offering eSIM support. As a result, you cannot get all the capabilities of the dual SIM with Verizon alone, and you will need a second provider. Other US operators UU they were also hampered by similar problems, suggesting that, for the time being, Nobody in the United States is ready for a double SIM card. AT&T ended its dual SIM support when it found an error with the iPhone's visual voicemail feature that does not work on phones with two active lines. He is working to solve the problem. T-Mobile has also said that eSIM will be available once the software is ready. The timeline for Verizon's dual SIM and eSIM adoption now seems to have been reduced by the beginning of December while the other operators are more vague as to when we can expect full dual SIM support.